Hello, I wanted to uh, do a little sword class with you guys today and uh, give you some of the fine points and uh, some ideas of practicing on your own. Since we are not running the regular class at the dojo, let's uh, do a little practice on your own, especially with the nicer weather coming. Maybe you can get outside and, and do your practice. You can use your uh, wooden stick or, or sword, or you can use your, uh, your metal sword if you have one. All right, uh, today's uh, lesson is going to be mostly focusing on drawing the sword and putting the sword away. So the nukiuchi is the drawing of the sword, and the, uh, the noto is the term for putting the sword away. So when I have a sword in the scabbard like this and it's in my hakama, I don't have to hold it, it'll stay in place. And you notice that it's kind of in front of the body. This is the position that the, the sword should start with. Some people think that sword should be on the side. Well, some uh, soldiers and different cultures do it that way, but the samurai, their sword is more in the front like this. It's on an angle towards from the front. And the handle of the sword is right in front of the body. Now, the hands come up to the sword from underneath because your hands are down and they come up from the lower position and the left hand will grip the, the wooden scabbard, the saya, and will get the thumb over the top of the sword guard at the same time. That helps to hold it and control it. The right hand comes underneath and the thumb touches the sword, the back of the thumb, and, and then your hand starts to wrap around. Now, you're not gonna be able to get your hand around until you turn the sword over. So now you turn it so the palm's up and you're getting your right hand over the sword in a grip. Now your left thumb might still be holding the suba, the sword guard. So you push it open this way. You just give a little push and that opens the sword from the scabbard so that you, now you can draw it more easily forward. The draw is straight in front of you, straight ahead. So the handle of the sword, the end of the handle, it's facing straight in front of you. The sword is almost on a horizontal angle right now. It's starting to turn, and the saya, or the scabbard, is being pulled back at the same time. Now, clear it out so that the scabbard comes off the sword, the sword comes off the scabbard, and you raise it up to about chest height and cut across in a horizontal movement. The tip of the sword is straight in front of you, and the arm is out on an angle, slightly in front. You've got a good grip with your hand, and the sword can be thought of as cutting on the chest level or the neck level uh, are some of the places to aim. Let's do that again. Now, if you have a wooden sword or, uh, or you're using a stick, Your left hand is going to be holding the, the sword this way, but you have to imagine that that's the scabbard. That's the holding the scabbard with that left hand. It's right there in front. Now, in this case, just your right hand comes up. The thumb, the back of the thumb touches the sword and you turn your wrist to turn the sword sideways. Now you get your grip around and you grip it up close to the sword guard, but not exactly on it, just close to it. Now draw it straight forward. And while you're drawing the right hand forward, you're also drawing the left hand back. So the left hand comes back to the side. The drawing of the sword is not just with one arm, it's with both at the same time. And you can see that I'm getting ready to clear it out from there. My grip is a little loose right now. It's gonna tighten up when I do my cut. But now I clear out the rest of the way. I pull it all the way off so my sword is free to give the cut straight across at the front. Let's do that again. So holding it with the left hand, and my thumb is on the sword guard. Right hand comes up and grips, turning the sword. And now I push my left hand, my left thumb, to open the sword out of the scabbard, starting to draw it, clear it out, and do the cut. Good. 
This takes a lot of practice, so I want you to do it a few more times. I'm also going to show you if you were using a short stick. So with the short stick, I leave some space at the end. That's where my handle would be. And I bring my hand up, the back of my thumb touches, and I loop my hand over the top to grip. And now I start to extend forward. But again, even though you could get it out with just one hand, pull that left hand back too. So the left hand comes back to the side. Come up and do your cut across horizontally that way. One more time. So you save enough room here to be your handle. The left hand is holding the scabbard right at your belly. Bring this hand up, catch, extend it forward, straight in front of your body, and pull the left hand back at the same time till it clears out the, from the scabbard, and do your cut across. All right, the longer a stick you have, the, the more you have to draw the sword out before it clears out of the scabbard. So finding a longer stick uh, can be better for, for that kind of training. Now, when you draw the sword forward, you want the handle to be going right towards the opponent. So as you're coming up, you're drawing that sword straight out towards them. That gives them a bit of a hesitation. They're seeing something coming right at them. And now clear it out and do the cut. So don't draw it sideways. Draw it straight in front of you, clear it, and cut. Now, uh, doing it quickly uh, is something that takes some practice, but you do want to do it correctly. If you do it quickly and you open up your hand before the sword fully comes out, well, that's incorrect. You, you can't get the sword out of the scabbard until it comes out of the mouth of it, the opening of it. So as you draw, you got to clear all the way before you do your cut. So it still can be done relatively quickly, but you don't want to open the hand in the middle of that movement. Make sure it comes all the way to the end and then pulls across. Now, those of you that are more experienced with sword, and maybe you have your, uh, your, your EI, EI toe sword, your EI sword, then you would practice that draw and you can start practicing it pretty quickly. To get some experience with it, you might want to do say 20 cuts relatively quickly so that you get the feeling of pulling all those moves together. Practicing slow is right sometimes, practicing a little faster is right. Up and cut. Sometimes quickly like that is a good way to go. Don't bring your hands up quickly. Let your hands get a good grip and then from here and out and cut. Under out and cut. So that can be pretty quick. And of course, the sword has to come out of the scabbard before it can pull across. It has to come out before it can pull through. So the drawing of the sword in a quick action is uh, like the gunfighters in the Old West who would draw their, their uh, guns to get a quick shot on their opponent with the sword uh, uh, action or sword fight, the samurai would have to do the same thing sometimes. They draw quickly and get that first cut before the other opponent has a chance to react. So that's some work on drawing the sword. And uh, there are, of course, a number of moves done in between, different kinds of cuts, the chibori, getting the blood off the blade. But usually at the end of a kata, or the end of a, a movement, the idea of putting the sword away is, uh, is the next step. And that's called the noto, N-O-T-O. To do a noto, your fingers will pinch together to form an opening like this. And in the case of having a scabbard, your hand will come over and you'll turn it and you'll pinch it and you'll keep it very close to your body so your hand is almost resting on your belly. And you place the back of the sword, the sharp parts on this side, the back of the sword here is not sharp, so that part goes against 
your hand at this point. It goes against right on the web of the hand here near the thumb. And now it draws across sideways till the tip fits into the opening. And then it comes back and finishes up in the center again. So just like the draw of the sword, the putting away of the sword or the noto starts from the center and ends at the center. So let's take the sword out. So whatever actions I've done, maybe my scabbard is at the side right now. I have to bring it to the middle. And that position, that pinching movement, that position there is just the same whether you have a scabbard or whether you're doing it without a scabbard. Place your sword horizontally so it's on the web of the hand and then draw across. Now you also see how the left hand is pulling back at the same time too, till the tip fits in and then it comes in all together. And at the end of a noto, your thumb comes over and grips the sword to hold on to it so that it doesn't slip out. If I tilt forward, the sword might slip out, but if I grip a hold of it, it um, is gonna stay in there nice and tight. So once again, with the sword, get your scabbard ready, your saya is your scabbard. You place the sword horizontally, you draw it across till the tip can go in, and then you come back and both hands, hands end up in the center at the end of the noto. All right, let me do it with a wooden sword. So I did all my cuts, whatever I was doing, now I need to put my sword away. I pinch, I place the back of the blade, I draw across and I bring my left hand to the side as well, and then bring them in together, and then grip with my thumb on the sword guard if you have that. All right, hand, place, draw, in, and there. Good, now again, remember that left hand is gonna move to the side. If you don't move that left hand, you're gonna get out to about here, especially with a long sword, and you're gonna say, I can't get it in. Well, you have to bring that left hand over at the same time, it's two-handed movement. Now, if we're using a short stick, same thing. Even though I could get it right in without moving my left hand, I want to practice moving my left hand back to the side and then coming back into the middle. Good. And then your left hand, your right hand would come off the sword and your left hand would, would hold it uh, from there. So again, you'd place it, you draw and come in, good. Remember to bring that left hand back to the side, back to the side till the tip can come in and then push it in that way. When you have the longer sword, same thing, place it, draw across till it comes in, and when you grab it with the thumb of the left hand, now the right hand doesn't need to hold it anymore and you can finish the kata this way. So that's a little bit of uh, detail work on the drawing, the nukiuchi, and the noto, the putting of the way of the sword. So practice that on your own and uh, see you back again for another lesson soon.